Just do it seriously. You stop for to pull the camera out. You start fighting with Cooper. Silly dog. Good morning. Afternoon. Sorry. <laughs> this is fun. Today's not going to be as exciting. I'm so sorry. Oh, well, I'm just left to do a mini petty, I believe. My dad's at work, but he's coming home early. My mom gets back. I'm going to be packing up this thing. The food and stuff. And uh, then I'll leave him for the trailer. <laughs> taste of alcohol when uh, she was 12 and it was only a sip from my dad's drink. Battle in the bottle. Who you just left Port Hope News? That is news. 22% of all students, 223,500 in Ontario, report he'd binge drinking five or more drinks on one occasion. No, it's not. I wouldn't call five drinks binge drinking. Binge drinking. 18% of students, 175,600 in Ontario, reported drinking harmfully or hazardously in the past year, with boys and girls equally likely to drink at that level. 1 in 10 students reported injuring themselves or someone else in the past year as a result of their drinking. Did you know, I'm pretty sure the number of, of that would be higher if it was just injuring someone by accident in any way, shape or form, whether or not they were under the influence of drinking. Would you agree? Sure. Right. 7% of grade 10 through grade 12 students with a G-class driver's license. I don't know if single grade 10 with a G license. In grade 10 you shouldn't have it, nor in grade 11, that's like your G2. Maybe in grade 12 or near the end you got your G. A further 7% or 37,700 students in grade 10, 11 and 12 reported they operated a snowmobile, motormobile, sidu or ATV while drinking alcohol. Sorry, after drinking alcohol. I've done tons of stuff after drinking alcohol. Like reading this survey, I've drank alcohol earlier. Much earlier, but you get the point. <laughs> Just this morning. Just this morning, I had about a Mickey and a half. Prostitution. There are, of course, other danger teens need to be aware of, such as unplanned or unwanted sexual experiences or the spread of STDs, says Dr. Doug Weir. Thank you, doctor. I didn't know we needed to be a doctor to know that information. Thank you very much. I thought I would obviously be cautious of rape and AIDS. We've changed the accent, don't know why. Last year, Taylor got drunk for the first time. Oh, Lord. She believes underage drinking throughout the county and Ontario is not a huge problem. You never really hear about a lot of issues about teen drinking. Oh, said Taylor, no, never. Who did not want her last name used. But it's not a big deal. No big deal, don't use my last name. <laughs> the survey, which began in 1977 and is definitely an up-to-date and current <laughs> survey. Okay, the, the survey, 1977, was that really current information? What did getting drunk, in quotations, totally not, you know, lawful to drink at home under the supervision of your parents. That's a lawful thing, Dylan. Maybe not in the 70s. Pretty students who are the young and rare, but it does happen, Miss Roger said. Schools do sometimes refer students as do the police and parents. Sometimes kids come right to us who through their own decision have come for help. But at that age, you have many students going through a transitional phase in their life and experimenting. It's a very difficult time for them. Dr. Doug Weir reports teenage girls drinking more than boys. I believe I just read in here that it said it was about the same. It's a big bowl of noodles. It is a big bowl of noodles. That is a giant. It is a hot bowl of noodles. So I'm going to jump down the side with you guys. Okay, let's see how this goes. <laughs> Did it! Did it! Oh, uh, I look really horrible. Watch this video. 
And we made uh, Big Brother sound a lot worse than it was. It wasn't that bad. It was entertaining. People were really funny. The host was really down to earth. Um, yeah. Uh, oh, look, a, a butter, a butterfly. <laughs> Okay, so everybody, uh, gonna give you a while, a few seconds, a, f a few seconds, huh, to pick a, a yes or no question, and this magic dice will answer it for you. Okay, let's go. Here we go. Are you ready? Let's, okay, are you ready? Ask a question now. You got it? So that's what you want to go with? Be positive. Ah. Pretty weird question. And your answer is you may rely on it. Look how creepy this painting is. She will eat your soul. You will have nightmares about this. Look at this one. I didn't make it look like it's a packy time. Okay, that is so offensive. Oh, I kinda just wanna Put you in the dryer. Please, you don't move so much. People think you're dead. Oh yeah, Reese, are you alive? Look at my hand. You're totally alive, eh? Yeah. See, you scare people when he does lay there. Dad, look at my picture. Okay. Dylan, yeah. I appreciate your sacrifice so, I mean, of playing your iPad game, game for me. And I like the opportunity to sit here and wait for you to do so. Do you mean? The office. Oh. I appreciate you. I appreciate you appreciating that. Oh, that's good. I appreciate you appreciating me appreciating that. See, I was so confused. I'm like, chest. And I was like, jean? No. And then you saw the stripes. And I was thinking, like, jester pants. I'm like, I was so off. That was a joke. I was writing jam, and I was like, oh, pajamas. I sometimes I write swear words if I can. Yeah, just I heard. To screw I saw people. you write football. No, you had it right. Blim. I just did a lot of work because I was bored. Oh, look at that. Detail. I put uh, in the little players, and then just narrow to the blimp. Was it blimp? It might have been blimp. You are just hilarious to watch guess, because you misspell it all the time. We'll draw a bat for you, because you're right here. Dylan? Hey, where's she gone? Let's make it good. Gone, gone, I'm going to trash it. Oh my god. You should draw on Batman, then minus the bat. That's an oh, equal sign. Ant. Hi, Reese! No. If there's any ice in there, it would melt. Luke, some for refrigerators have the part that have a freezer. They can make ice. An iceberg is a giant bunch of ice. The refrigerator can make the ice. A, a refrigerator cannot make an iceberg. It can make ice. It can make ice. Exactly. It can make an That's iceberg. not an iceberg. Iceberg is just a lot of ice, okay? It does not get colder because there's a lot of it. It is still just ice that is cold. Yeah, but you... you an iceberg, you're not going to, like... Steam is cool. Steam is cool, but I feel an iceberg is cold. But you don't have it. I'm sorry. So what one? I'm still deciding. Hurry up. They're all okay. I'm gonna Good have to one, go. Leave me my mo on this fucking iceberg. Start with iceberg. Shit. Skin? You're a fucking tit. I know how this goes. No eeny money mo. I guess. What pinky, wins? Pinky pinky pong. He just wants to win. Just pick whoever your daddy bought. Pick is. whatever <laughs> one you want. Pick That's skiing. Cheating. Pick the one you want to pick skiing. Go skiing. That's not even cold. Yeah, it is. You ski. Oh, it's I mean, exercising, not. so you get warm because no, you're skiing. Cold. It's I don't cold. Do cold. When you're running outside, is it hot or is it cold? That yes. wind is blowing in your face and it is freezing. Okay, when I was five, I was like, my bro, I'm hot. She's all, run. The wind in your face is making you feel good. So I run. I run. I stop and I was hotter than ever. No, well, I'm saying you're in the winter. Yeah. You can run, you can get tired, but you're not exactly hot now, are you? I sweat in the winter and steam came off of me. So, oh. yeah. 
Okay. You still get warm because you're Not active. The more active you are in the winter, the warmer you are. You know, it's more active than a refrigerator. An iceberg as it floats through the ocean. Skiing. It took out the top ten. You know, it fell on it afterwards. Some coal from the inside, which made it a warm iceberg. So skiing is two things. Not only oh, is it. Iceberg wins. Luke, icebergs are not oh. cold. They, Seriously? They are melting right now. Iceberg. They are melting. Who cares? He already the picked. Global warming is going to destroy the yeah. icebergs before the refrigerator. And there'd still be skiing because we can make artificial he snow. He already picked. Boom. He already picked. He said iceberg wins. Yeah, but now people are changing their minds. And if yours didn't win, you would have said, no, no, no. He's still thinking. Oh, the global warming thing's got me. But artificial it's snow. It's gonna have to be refrigerator because of the global warming. Because cold welcome. pizza will not. <laughs> you, yeah. So which one? You people are fucking ridiculous. Seriously, what about skiing? Dylan, shut up. Global skiing. warming is wiping out skiing. No, okay. <laughs> Spunker. Quit recording us. Good night.